The Indian Space Agency made history in August by becoming the first to soft land a spacecraft near the lunar south pole, known as Chandrayaan-3. This was an end-to-end -end indigenous mission. However, there was a time when the Indian space program was taking baby steps with support from abroad. This church building is the humble facility where the Indian space program was born in the early 1960s. It all began at a coastal village called Tumba in Tiru Vananthpuram in Kerala, known as Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station. The facility is used to launch experimental rockets to the upper atmosphere. This very day, 60 years ago, marked the symbolic start of the Indian space program November 21st, 1963. That's when the first rocket soared into the skies from India. That day, it was the American rocket Nike Apache that was launched. In the initial years, the Indian space program was supported by various nations. Over the last five decades, ISRO has grown by leaps and bounds. Today, ISRO has a fleet of rockets of varying capabilities. It has more than 60 satellites circling the Earth and uses space technology across sectors of national importance. From relying on various nations to build its program, India now works with leading space agencies on joint equal partner missions. To list a few, ISRO and NASA are building the world's most powerful Earth imaging satellite known as NISAR. NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. That's what NISAR stands for. ISRO and Japan's JAXA are working on a lunar polar exploration mission called LUPEX. ISRO and French agency CNES are working on satellite known as Trishna for Earth observation. Such is the astronomical growth of the Indian space program from the Toomba days of the 1960s. And for more on this, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report. The Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station is one of the most sought-after places in the world to launch sounding rockets from. Throughout the 1960s and thereafter, scientists from more than six nations used to come here and launch rockets. Scientists from the US, Soviet Union, France, Germany, uh, all of these people used to come here despite their differences and the political differences of that time and then launch rockets. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.